This is a clinical trial looking at patients with metastatic EGFR mutant lung cancer who have TP53 and RB1 mutations. We know these patients are at high risk of transforming to small cell. And we wanted to see if, if we gave these patients osimertinib plus platinum and etoposide, if we'd be able to eradicate small cell clones, prevent transformation, and hopefully improve patient out, outcomes. So that was the, the premise of our trial. In terms of what we found, we, we saw 11 patients that were enrolled in the trial um, the majority of these patients had adenocarcinoma, but there was a patient with squamous histology and a patient with adenosquamous histology as well. In terms of how well they did, the median progression-free survival for these patients um, was 16 months, and overall survival was 38 months. And unfortunately, the transformation was, was quite high in these patients. They were followed serially for several years, um, but five of the 11 patients unfortunately did transform despite getting this treatment. In terms of what what's next, we these are hard to find patients, and we have serial samples of tumor and plasma at different time points before they started osimertinib, before they started chemo, after they completed the chemo, and upon progression. Lineage plasticity is a, a hot topic and something we're, we're learning more and more about, but it's very complex. And so we have a, a huge team at Sloan Kettering of, of brilliant scientists, and we're doing small cell subtyping on these samples, whole exome sequencing and single cell RNA sequencing. And our hope is to better understand what drives some of these patients to transform and what doesn't.